Welcome back guys to CryptoFollow channel. Today I would like to talk about alerts. First of all, a lot of people don't use alerts and it's a big mistake because uh, you just sit in front of a monitor, you just scroll and double check every single minute the application and wait your target. But instead of all of these things, you can just add alerts. How we can use alerts properly? First one, just basic alerts. It's uh, the WDX charts. I would like to show examples. How do I use? For example, I know this is a uh, lowest point. It's low, low. It's liquidity. And I'm okay to buy the WDX one more time if we drop, for example, to uh, $1.79. And I want to buy. So I just click it here. Add alerts. And I can name it. Buy now. Buy more DWDX add alert and I don't need to spend all this time the few days maybe double check every single time when to buy the WDX when we hit here my alert will be triggered I will get notification on my app and I make a decision to buy it now it depends of price action depends of what's going on in the market because maybe we'll drop like this one to this level and i will see we can drop much much lower based on some news or some rumors or some thought that's why my alert will be triggered but instead of limit orders to buy you know i just can open my app and double check what's going on on the chart now in this current situation and make a decision to buy or wait a little bit lower the same story if I, for example, bought it here at $1.80, I'm more than okay to sell some part of my DYDX when we hit the trend line. So I draw the trend line. One touch, second touch, almost third one. So I'm waiting this one. We don't know the timing, but I can add a few alerts. For example, uh, by end of uh, September, I'm waiting to sell at $2.23. Add alert. I can mark the price sell sell the wdx now add alert or i can add alert here for example if it took longer sell 25 percent sell 20 25 percent wdx create alert so you don't have to sit in front of monitor and wait all this triggered you know it's save you a lot of time and you can add as much as possible alerts to totally different coins you know all these alerts will be here and like you can see a lot of alerts already trigger it some of these alerts still in play for example it's stop it and for example here it's inactive so i'm waiting immutable x at 42 there is no guarantee we drop to 42 but i would like to buy the immutable x at 42 or when we across the 50 cents, I will be ready to open my chart on Immutable X and double check what's going on with this coin. Next option, how you can save a lot of time, for example, locally. We got this price action. I already showed in my previous video how to keep your charts pretty simple and clean. So we can, for example, mark that buy side liquidity here, buy side liquidity. We, we know at this price we got a buy side like then we go to four hour time frame and we can mark that fair value gap on four hour time frame we go to rectangle mark this fair value gap mark it like this one and in this case we can mark the 50 percent of this range like alert add alerts for example it's fair value gap short and we know what to do in this specific moment next one we can use the fib for example we got these levels and we wait for example to sell 0 0.5 level by fib and 61 so we just click it here 0 0.5 add alerts so it's 0 0.5 level fib open short so we're not sitting in front of monitor and spend all days just waiting when the price came in to our zone we just know this is a four, four hour time frame fair value gap we know this is 0 0.5 level by FIB, and we just waiting this price action and in this area when our alert will be triggered we open the chart 
and take a look what to do. Open short or wait 0.61 level of FIB and make a decision. Also, after that, you can, for example, mark the premium discount level. And this 0.5 level of FIB is exactly the equilibrium. So you know, when we hit the equilibrium, we can hit the full fill of a 4 hour time frame, $2.04. And in this area, you can open, for example, short position. So it can looks like this one, you open short, your alert triggered, you open short and we're going down and you add new alert here to buy, for example, to open long. You can even delete this fee to keep your chart simple, you know, and just use the alert. Also, I use so often alerts with my custom indicator set, for example, ADZ, direction, and trade on. For example, I would like to know on the daily time frame when we came in to direction to accumulation zone, I would like to see the alert. Add alert and in this condition I choose crypto for light direction and I choose the bearish, bullish, possible overbought, possible oversold. I choose possible oversold. So when we came in one more time to this zone and we will see the whale start accumulate, I will get my alert on daily time frame. For example, we go to one minute time frame and I would like to see the signal to sell on trade on indicator. We use trade on, sell, create alert. Guys, I highly recommend you use alerts because it saves you a lot of time and you will enjoy your life instead of just uh, sit in front of monitor and look how this candles play now because sometimes the market can be so boring and you just waste your time instead of this just mark your alerts on indicators just mark your alerts on some specific price levels and just wake your targets guys i hope you like this video subscribe channel hit the like button hit the notification button don't forget join my telegram channel see you next time guys